Hello and welcome to IGCSE Mathematics 0580 extended course syllabus topic E1 which is about number module E1.8 decimals and fractions and in particular in this part we will be learning how to add subtract multiply and divide all the numbers including uh, decimals and fractions and this is part 1 and it consists of exercise 1 2 and 3 of chapter number 1 we are using complete mathematics for Cambridge IGCSE extended syllabus written by David Rayner and for your reference exercise 1 2 and 3 starting from page number 2 to 5 of this book how to add decimal numbers and this is question number 1 of exercise 1 let's suppose we want to add two numbers 7.6 plus 0 0.31 Rule number one is decimal point of all numbers should be vertically aligned. Let's see what it means. Here we have two numbers 7.6 and 0.31. What we have to do, we have to write these two numbers on top of each other. The first number is 7.6 like this. And the first rule says the vertical decimal point of the both numbers or more than two numbers should be vertically aligned it means 0 0.31 this point should be placed right underneath this point of 7.6 so it means that here we have 0 and here we have 3 and 1 that's the meaning of vertically aligned now see these two decimal places are vertically aligned or top of each other now what we have to do we have to add these two numbers and we know that after decimal places you can add as many zero as you want it has no value or it is insignificant digit so adding 0 plus 1 makes 1 6 plus 3 makes 9 point as it is 7 plus 0 is 7.91 so this is how simple it is 7.6 plus 0 0.31 makes 7.91 let's quickly have a look Rule number two for addition of decimal number. It says order does not matter. Let's see what it means. Now we just we just observed in the second rule, order does not matter. It means in the first addition we write 7.60 first. Even if you write 0 0.31 first, and then 7.61. And remember, decimal should be on top of each other or vertically aligned. 7.6. The answer will be same we can add zero here it has no value after decimal place so we are going to do add both numbers one plus zero is one three plus six is nine decimal will be as it is and zero plus seven is seven so it has the same answer it means that changing the order of the numbers would not affect the answer in the addition of decimal numbers and this is question number two of exercise one Let's see another example in which we have 15 plus 7.22. So again, we know that we have to write these two numbers on top of each other. So 15 first or order doesn't matter. You can even write 7.22 first. And then we know that in the decimal or the whole in, in, the, in the integer or in the whole or the whole number, the decimal lie at the end. The decimal point is here for the 15. And then we have to write 7.22. And remember that the rule. The decimal number of both numbers should be vertically, vertically aligned or top of each other. So it means that this, this decimal should be here, right here, underneath this decimal. And then we have like 7 here and 2 and 2 here. So this is the position for adding these two numbers. And we know that after decimal you can add as many zero as you can. It has no value. So that's it. Now you can add these two. 0 plus 2 makes 2. 0 plus 2 makes 2. Point will be or decimal will be as it is. 7 plus 5 makes 12, 2 and 1 carry, 1 plus 1 is 2. So it is 22.22 for the addition of 15 plus 7.22. And this is question number 4 of exercise 1. Okay, let's see another question. It says 0 0.06 plus 0 0.006. So once again, same method. First, we will write 0 0.06. And the second number decimal or dot should be underneath the first number decimal dot should be here so it will be 0 0.006 like that and we are going to add them 
we know we can add 0 here it has no value so 0 plus 6 is 6 6 plus 0 is 6 0 plus 0 is 0 and decimal will be as it is here and 0 plus 0 is 0 so answer is 0 0.066 how to subtract decimal numbers let's see that this is question number 7 of exercise 1 Let's suppose we are given a question 11.4 minus 9.73. So let's see some rules how to subtract two decimal numbers. Rule number one says decimal point of both numbers should be vertically aligned. Now let's see how it works. So we will just write these two numbers on top of each other 11.4. And as the rule says, decimal point should be vertically aligned or should be on top of each other. So it means that this 9.73, this decimal point or dot should be underneath this dot of 11.4 or 11 uh, or the decimal point of 11.4. And of course, 9 will be here, 7 will be here and 3 will be here, right? And we have to subtract this. Now, we know that we can add 0 after the decimal place, it has no value. So, just write 0 so that it should be a squared number. Now, because 3 is smaller than, uh, greater than 0, so it cannot be subtracted from the 0. So, it means that it has to borrow 1. So, it, it will be 10 and it will be 3. So, 10 minus 3 is 7. Once again, 3 is smaller than 7 so you cannot subtract it so of course it has to borrow 1 so it will be 13 here like this and of course uh, here it will be 11 in the first place then it will be 10 here so 13 minus 7 is 6 dot and then 10 minus 9 here is 1 so the answer is 1.67 it means that when you subtract 11.4 minus 9.73, the answer is 1.67. Rule number 2 of the subtraction of two decimal places says order does matter. Now, let's quickly have a look what this means. Now, here order means that now you cannot write like 9.73 minus 11.4. It won't work like that. Of course, because at, it, at this time, if you try to do it, subtract it, it will be minus 1.67. And of course, you know, because minus, you, you are subtracting 9.73 from 11.4, not you are subtracting 11.4 from 9.73. So, there are two different things. In me, it means that in the, min, in the subtraction of the decimal places, order does matter. The order in which it is written really matters. You cannot alter the order. It means that the first number should be on the top. And the second number after the, this minus uh, sign should be underneath of the first number. And this is question number 8 of exercise 1. Let's see another question. It says 4.61 minus 3. So once again, as we know, in the subtraction, 4.61 should be written first and then 3 underneath. And of course, as the rule number 1 says, decimal or the dot should be on top of each other. Because in the whole number or integer, decimal lie at the end, so decimal is here. So decimal is here and we have 3 on the left side of the decimal, just like this number. And we know that you can add 0 after the, as many zero as, as you want after this decimal place. It has, these zeros have no values, right? And you're going to subtract it. Now, 1 minus 0 is 1, 6 minus 0 is 6, dot would be as it is, 4 minus 3 is 1. So the answer is 1.6. One. This is question number 13 of exercise 1. Let's see another question. It says 20.4 minus 20.399. So as per the rule, we'll write 20.4 first. And as we know, according to the rule, the second number decimal or dot should be underneath of the first number. So dot will be here. And then we have 20 on the left side same as it is 20 and then on the right side we have 399 so we will write in the same way 399 like this and we're going to subtract these two numbers we know that we can add 0 after the decimal place it has no values so now let's subtract it 
zero is less than nine, so you cannot subtract nine from zero. So you, it has to borrow one, and it has no nothing, so it will borrow further from here. So it will be three here, and then after giving one to the right, it will left with nine, and now we have ten here, right? So ten minus nine is one. Nine minus nine is zero. Three minus three is zero. Dot will or decimal should be as it is. Zero minus zero is zero, or we have both zero, zeros here. And we know according to the rule, you cannot write two zero onto the left. There is only one zero. So answer is zero point zero zero one. So this is how you do the subtraction. How to multiply decimal numbers? Let's see this. This is question number fourteen of exercise one. We have two numbers, two point six and zero point six, and we are going to multiply these two decimal numbers. So let's see uh, two of the rules, and then we will multiply them. Rule number one: multiply both numbers without decimal point. Let's apply this rule. It means that we have to multiply. 2.6, and you know that we are not allowed to use that decimal anymore. It means that we are only going to multiply 26 into 6. Same way, we are not using the decimal part or the decimal number of the both numbers. So it means that we are going to multiply 26 into 6, and 6 is the 36. 6 and 3 carry. 6 to the 12 plus 3, so it is 15. So the answer is 156. Now let's see the rule number two. Rule number two says add decimal places of both numbers and apply. See how simple it is. Here let's add the decimal places of both numbers. Here we have only one decimal place. Here we have one decimal place. So it means that we have total of two decimal places. By the way, decimal place is the number of digits after the decimal point. So we have one here and one here. So we have total two decimal places. And apply means that at the moment decimal lying at the end of the whole number or, or the integer here, and it should be at the second number two. So it means that you have to move this decimal one place, two place here. So decimal will be here. So it means that the answer will be one point five six. This is question number fifteen of exercise one. Here, here we have another question: zero point seven two multiplied by zero point zero four. So, as per the rule number one, let's multiply these two decimal number without decimal point or decimal place. So, seventy two multiplied by four. Okay. So, simply what we did, in fact, we just take out the decimal. So, we just only multiplying the pure number. Here it is seventy two. Here we have four. So, let's multiply them together. Four two zero eight. And seven fours are twenty-eight. So we have two eighty-eight. Now, as per the rule number two, let's count the, the decimal places of both number. Here we have two places. Here we have two places. So total we have four decimal places. Let's apply these four decimal places here. At the moment, decimal lies at the end of the integer whole number. So we have to move four places toward the left. So it will be one, two, three, four. The so decimal will be here. It means that we have to put a zero in between. So the answer will be 0.0288. I hope you got it. It's quite simple. This is question number 21 of exercise one. Here we have another question: 0.36 multiplied by 1000. So as per the rule, let's multiply these two numbers without decimal place. So it means that 36 going to multiply with the 1000. And of course, it will be we just add three zero. To the 36, so it will be 36,000. It's quite simple to understand. So the answer is 36,000. Now, as per the rule number two, let's count the decimal places of both numbers. So here we have two decimal places, and here we have none because decimal lies here. So we have nothing after this decimal. So the total places are two. At the moment, decimal lies at the end of this whole number or integer, and we have moved two places toward the left. So here one place, here two places. So decimal place will be here. The answer will be, in fact, three sixty point zero zero, and as we know, these two zero has no values, so the answer will be three sixty. So 
in the next part which is part number 2 we will be looking at some division rules so see you there